If you have a client service business, this video is going to help you increase your revenue. I'm gonna show you how to build the most useful feature of a CRM or customer relationship management system, the follow-up system. This is after we have had the first contact with a client, how we are gonna follow up with him and when to try to close deal. And why do we care about this? For example, according to this article, failing to follow up is one of the quickest ways to lose up to 80% of potential sales. So I mean, you can imagine what happens when we actually do something about this and have a system for it. Yeah, more clients, more revenue. And what's best is that I have trimmed down this system to its simplest form. Sounds well, let's get into it. So to solve this issue, I'm gonna be using Notion. And in Notion, the first thing that we're gonna need is a database that is hosting all of our leads. And if you don't have one, Remote OS, my business system, has one that is integrated into a whole business system, which you can find in the description of this video. But honestly, if the only thing that you're looking for is to build a CRM, you can just follow along. Okay, so this is the, the database that I, that I have. And the only properties that we are gonna need for building this follow-up system are these three. One date property for the last time that we have contacted the person. This is honestly just to track when we have last contacted this person. Yeah, that is it. And then next follow up. This is when we are planning to contact this person again. And this will vary from contact to contact. Let's say that one client tells you, uh, I need 15 days to, to give you an answer. So you may follow up in the day 16. And if they don't tell you anything, maybe you wanna follow up in two days, in three days. So yeah, that's why I, I kept it manual. And then finally, one formula that is going to tell me whether I need to reach this person or not. This formula is very easy. I am linking it to the status. So just if the status is any of these two, this formula is going to work, but if you don't have status, then you don't really need it. And the real formula is just uh, this. Okay, so I highlight it here so you can copy it. So date between, between now and the next follow-up in days, if this is greater or equal than zero, then I need to contact. And if not, uh, then it's all good. So this means that today is 25th. So if the next follow-up will be today, then this will read need to contact. But if it reads tomorrow, then I don't need to, to reach this person. OK, so this is everything that we need in, in Notion. That is it. Now, how are we going to be using this? So what I would want is that I receive every morning an email in my inbox with the people that I need to follow up with. So this for me will be the same as having a secretary that every morning tells you, hey Daniel, you need to do this. But the cool thing of tech is that we can automate this and we can save that salary. So how are we going to do it? Uh, I'm gonna be using make.com. I'm also gonna leave in, in the description of this video a link to the tool. And this is how the automation is going to look like. It is super simple. So the first step, um, by the way, if you are new to make, uh, you will land in this page whenever you, you open it and you will just have to click here on create a new scenario, okay? And then the first step of the automation is going to be Notion search objects. This is how this uh, automation step is called. And basically what we're gonna do here is search the database where we have our leads hosted. If we haven't given make access to it, uh, we will have to, to give it access. So for, for this, just go to the database itself and then click on the three dots and double check that make is granted the connection to the, to the database. And then it's going to, to appear here when you search for it. And then we are gonna filter by this property over here to reach whenever the formula, this take into account that I have selected over here below formula, okay? So string contains the word need. I mean, this is particular to, to my case because need is in here whenever I need to contact someone. But if you have a different string, so just uh, modify it account accordingly. And the limit 10, I don't think any day I'm gonna have more than 10 follow-ups, but I mean, if you have a very big company, maybe bump this up to, to, uh, to 100 or however many. And, and basically this step, what it's going to do is to Yep, to search all the objects that fulfill this filter. So in our case, everybody that we need to follow up with. Then since this can be more than one person, I have built here a text aggregator. And why am I doing this? Because I want to receive just one email. I don't want to receive one email per follow-up because let's say that one day I need to follow up with five people. I don't want to be receiving five emails. I want to receive one email with a bullet point per a follow-up is only possible by building this text aggregator over here, which you can find 
in here in tools and text aggregator. And what, what this does is it aggregates multiple strings into one text. So this is exactly what we, what we want. And how have I built it? The source module is the first step. And the way that I want to separate it, to separate uh, each piece of text, is with this uh, BR uh, handle. No, it's not a handle, I don't know how to call it. This HTML. Why am I doing this? Be this a line break in HTML. So I want that at the end of every piece of text, so this will mean of every lead, I have a line break because then I'm gonna construct the email in HTML. If this sounds too complicated for you, you don't even need it, it's just to format the email beautifully. Um, you could just separate it by, by comma and that's it. But just all the, the, all the leads are gonna be separated by comma just in one long line. So, so yeah, this is just for, for formatting. And then here, the other HTML that I have added is this Lee, which is uh, to create a bullet point. So I want that the whole lead uh, is within one bullet point, and this is how we do it with this open Lee and with this closed Lee, with this slash. And the things that I want to write in the email is the name of the person. So if you don't know how this works, we have here all the different properties of the person. So here we have the name of the person. So we will select the, the name of the person and later the email. I mean, this is up to you, whatever you want to have in the email, just right here. But I want the email because then I can search for that email within my inbox and I don't have to go back to Notion to get the email and go back to my inbox. And then if I want more information, I have a link to the Notion page of the contact. And this is another HTML uh, code uh, to build a URL. So what I will see in the email is the text Notion page. And this is gonna have a link to the URL of the contact page in Notion. If you are having problems uh, with seeing all these properties that come from your Notion database, just uh, run this one time so it searches for something and, and therefore you will be able to get the structure of the data from your database. And for that, just right click, run this module only, and that's it. So this module is gonna run and it's gonna get all the structure and you will be able to find these, these properties. That's it. So this is gonna uh, create one long string, in our case, several bullet points, one per lead. And then we're gonna send ourselves an email. So the way that I have built this, this email is this the subject. And then this is the, the text that I'm gonna receive. So this, this text is the output of this one. And I have just added some extra HTML. So this is to start the unordered list. And this is to finish the unordered list, which is human language for bullet points. And then within here, we're gonna have all the bullet points. And this is like two break lines. And then I'm gonna have a link to the view where I have all my follow-ups, just in case I need to, to go there to see even more, more information or a more global view of where I'm going and, and all this kind of stuff. But I mean, yeah, this is this fully optional. And, and that is it. Let's see how, how this is going to work. Let's uh, make that I need to contact this uh, two leads, okay? And let's run this automation to see what happens, okay? This has sent an email, and here I have it. Follow for today, name, email, and the contacts Notion page. Name, email, contact Notion page. So that is it. The only thing left here is to schedule this automation to run every morning in the weekdays. And in my case, uh, yeah, this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 6 a.m. So I want that every morning when I start working, I already have that email waiting for me and just yes, waiting to, to take action on it. And then don't forget to turn on the scheduling, save the automation, and that will be it. But not yet. <laughs> uh, we need to filter this uh, so we just receive the email whenever there is some lead to follow up with because if not, we're gonna receive an email every day, even if it's empty. So we need to create a filter, and for creating a filter, just uh, click on these lines, and this is the filter already. There, the only filter that you need is whenever this text 
exists. Okay, so this is just going to to filter those days in which we to filter out those days in which we don't have anyone to follow up with. And that will be it. This is our personal assistant that is going to send us an email every day with the leads that we need to follow up with. If you like this business in Notion video, I'm sure that you will like this other video over here or there that shows you a full blown Notion system that can run practically every remote company. So you can see what Notion is capable of. So that is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.